Well guys, we're here today for a little checkup on what's happening with our mansion progress. I'm so excited to be here because I see so many new things that have happened since the last time I was here. Like for example, just standing in this little nook, I see so much progress happening. Come and have a look at this because what we did here was we wanted these posts to be covered in stone, if you remember, and they turned out so beautiful. This is the Pietra Gray and it's in a porcelain and it's the perfect option for this space because it works so well with the floor that we're gonna be doing. So basically, all of our interior posts are covered in stone. So you see it here, and then we come into the dining here, but before you come, I wanna show you this. Look above at what's happening in the details here. So we have two of these entries, one coming in from the foyer into the dining, one a little bit more into the hallway, and the powder room into the dining. So it's two entrances looking the exact same way. So we had a drop down ceiling, which we designed with a fluting detail, and this is all going to be painted up. But as you can see the progress as you know, what happens is this fluting was pre-made material and basically the finished carpenter comes and they do the insulation. So if you ever thought that this is done individually, it's not. It's actually in sheets and then they measure it up, cut it up and install it. And then at the end, the painter will come and paint the whole thing white so it's all nice and uniform and it looks fully custom made. This is our dining room and it's my first time actually seeing the cabinets installed. This turned out so beautiful. I love this color. This is actually by Farrah and Ball and it's a beautiful light and neutral color that goes so perfectly with the Pietra Gray veining that if you put them side by side, it almost looks like they were matched up but they weren't, we did that on our own. This was kind of redesigned because originally what was gonna happen was this side of the wall unit and this side of the wall unit were going to be backlit stone. And if you remember in the earlier phases of our project, we talked about doing that, but what happened was budgeting got in the way because everything is so much more expensive now. They're paying about three to four times more for the same stone today than they were going to be paying two years ago. So we scrapped that idea. We're no longer doing the backlit stone, although it would have been a beautiful design, just walking by this dining room here and seeing this wall lit up would have been phenomenal. So we had to improvise and that's okay too because this design turned out to be just as beautiful. So you can get a better idea on this side where it's kind of gonna be like a cabinetry for china and beautiful glassware that you're gonna be serving. So this is what we did. We revised it and we put in the doors and drawers. And then over here, this is kind of like a sideboard idea, whereas instead of doing a furniture piece, we had the sideboard built into the wall, so it's custom with the two side cabinets. And for here, my homework is to find beautiful hardware that is very jewelry-like, and it's really gonna make this look even more luxurious. So we have to choose some really special pieces for this. I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna take some photos of the live piece now so that I have reference for it for later on when we're choosing our hardware. We're gonna have nice sconces here. Now that I'm looking at this wall and since we didn't end up doing the backlit stone, I think a beautiful wallpaper on this wall will really do the job really nice and just kind of bring everything in together told you before, it's kind of bland looking, so I really want to warm it up with the rich textures of wallpaper. I'm going to take a photo of this so that I have reference to it when I'm searching for my beautiful wallpaper. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a little glimpse of our custom vanity that we did for the powder room because I don't want to reveal the whole thing, but check this out guys. This just gives you a little insight as to how much beautiful luxury custom work is coming into this powder room and check this out we've already ordered our wallpaper the installation data set make sure you go onto our youtube for that because i'm going to get the install of this the whole process filmed and i'm going to show you guys what actually takes place when you install wallpaper and why you shouldn't just give the job to just anybody oh, i see something interesting here too this is our mud room, guys. You've seen this empty before many times, but the cabinetry is coming in and I'm already loving what I see. This cabinet here, what we pick, the material, is so special. It has kind of like a bronzed 
uh, color to it and it's a little bit scratched kind of textured look to it very beautiful there's going to be brass hardware coming here this is going to look exactly the way that we had pictured it in our drawings so this has to get done then on this side i have daniela and her team doing our custom bench which the fabric's already picked we did a video for that when she visited the site a few weeks uh, actually a few months ago um, then they're going to come here and install this. We will reveal the floor, but there's a change in plans. We didn't end up doing our aero design that I loved so much. We had to improvise just because of the scheduling and the timing. It just would have taken too much time to make it that custom. So we revised, simplified it a bit, but it's still going to look just as beautiful. <laughs> Can you see me? <laughs> this is all of our boxes for our kitchen cabinetry. So this is what they come in. Even when you do them custom, they come in boxes, they get assembled all around the kitchen area, and then their faces go on. So the process is underway. Even though it looks like it's such a mess, I'm really excited about what I'm seeing because work is happening and that's always a good sign. So what happens first is the finished carpenter comes in, they do all of the work that needs to be work done on the walls, like all of the trim work and all of the panelings. And then one by one, all of these boxes by plan get put in place, installed. And then after that, we get the countertops in and all the drawers go in. And finally, the lighting comes in. And that's the, the spot that I am on right now working on as we speak, because what we've done is we already have our kitchen wall, uh, the kitchen light over there for the breakfast area picked out and you guys are going to be totally blown away as to what we picked. We finally finalized our uh, two island lights over here and this took a little bit of work because between the ideas my client had and what us the design team had we had to kind of uh, renegotiate a few times until we came up with the perfect lights and guess what these lights were picked from the beginning but you kind of need to see options sometimes in order to really finalize your final decision. So we have our two pendants chosen for the island. And what we need to do next is for these bad boys right here. If you see our wall sconces, these two are going to be put on top of the cabinetry on either side of the stove and hood area. But we don't want it to do, we don't want to do anything too overly extravagant because you already have the two pendant lights in front and you have the kitchen light just after that. So we want to keep them something linear, something subtle. But I waited on this because I wanted to choose my main pieces before going to these ones because these ones are just going to accent what's happening on the other side. I have a surprise because from all of this mess that you see right now there is a glimpse of hope because we have a little bit of our hardwood exposed here and i want to show you guys the color and the beauty of this piece right here this is our gorgeous hardwood and as you can see it's a very neutral color it's a little bit has a little bit of a gray undertone i would say very natural looking so we don't have any of that yellowish beige tone this is a white oak and it's one of my favorites we do it all the time in our custom homes and it's seven inch engineered planks that are really going to change this space this is probably the only space on the main floor that is hardwood because the the rest of the house is all covered in stone. Guys, this project is one of a kind and I cannot wait to show you the final result. I'm gonna make a couple more videos for the progress to show you guys how things are installed and placed in because you have some beautiful lighting happening here and I do not want you guys to miss any of this action. So stay tuned until the next video. I wanna thank you guys all for signing up because we have a few more interior design projects on the way aside from this one that I cannot wait to show you what happens on the background and the process. It's all about the process. It's nice when you see a house all done up, but what happens before that? So thanks for joining our premium platform. I promise to bring you the best content.